Hello everybody and welcome back to another polearm only video. Today we got big big news from the Genshin Impact official Twitter account. Now if you're up to date with all things Genshin, you will have seen these new banger tweets from them confirming two new Dendro characters. They first hinted at this in the TGA video uh, for the Game Awards. Uh, after that, they released two banger tweets confirming both Yao Yao and I'll hate them. Now, firstly, let's talk about I'll hate them. So he's a Sumeru academic scribe and he has the Dendro vision, obviously. For both of these characters, there's no confirmation for their weapon yet. But if I had to guess for I'll hate them, I'm trying to think back to the cutscenes we saw him in. I don't think that he ever uses a weapon. I think he just uses like bare fists. Just based on his character and the way he looks, I think Claymore is out of the question. Sword, probably not. Catalyst, probably not. I don't see him being Catalyst. I think the most likely he's either Dendro Polearm or Dendro Bow. But again, that's, it's a hard call. I'm just get going off his appearance. I could be completely off base here. And I'm sure the leakers are already in the comments below yelling at me. But from what I from what I see, I think he's going to be either Dendro Polearm, which would be amazing for our account, or Dendro Bow, which would be pretty cool. But obviously, we would we would rather him be Polearm. The next character we have here is Yao Yao, the Burgeoning Grace Disciple of Street Ward Rambler. She seems to be another one of the baby characters. She has a little rabbit toy, which is pretty cool. The likelihood of her being a Dendro Polearm, though, I think less likely than I'll hate them. When I think back to all the like the little characters, though, we have Sayu, who's Claymore, Diona, who's Bow, Klee, who's Catalyst, and then Chi Chi, who's Sword. That's you're only we're only missing pole arms for all the like the little kid characters. So uh, you could realistically see Yao Yao being a Dendro pole arm unit. I think there's actually a pretty strong possibility that there is just you know basing off the equation that every single baby character would have a different weapon but i think it's probably more likely that i'll hate them would be but either way i think between these two we are very guaranteed to get at least one dendro polearm unit considering the fact so we already have two dendro bow characters that probably eliminates that possibility now that i'm thinking about it making it even more likely for i'll hate them to be a dendro polearm unit we already have a dendro catalyst and Nahida. So the only things we're missing are Claymore, Sword, but technically we have Sword and I guess in Traveler. So the only thing we're missing then is Catalyst and Polearm. So it is very likely that we'll get at least one Dendro Polearm between these two. And that is what we are praying for. I'm going to be looking forward to that because a Dendro Polearm would be absolutely massive for Dendro reactions and helping us beat the Spiral Abyss. But anyways, moving on with our day here, there's a couple things I want to get to. First of all, I like to start off every episode by just going to my characters and just upgrading a couple of them because we have been grinding mats, currently have level 90 Zhao, Sino, Zhongli, but we can take almost all our units to level 90 with the EXP books we have. Now I should be saving some of these for Raiden, so I'm going to prioritize um, Zhongling and Rosaria over uh, Toma and Yunjin just for now because those two are the better sub DPSs in my personal opinion. And then the rest of these books are going to be saved for Raiden to take her to level 90 because that is definitely something we're going to be doing when the Raiden Shogun banner comes around is getting her all the way to level 90. But anyways, we have level 90 Zhongling now. And if we go to Rosaria, we are also going to take her to level 90. And then the rest of these EXP books are all going to be going towards the Raiden Shogun. Oh my gosh, this takes a lot of EXP books. Whoo, 685. Damn, dude. Okay. But there we go. Level 90 Rosaria. Secure. Let's go. That's what we like. And now our Rosaria and our Zhongling are a little more optimal something else i saw in the comments was switching around a couple weapons so a suggestion that i saw was putting deathmatch on sino apparently deathmatch is his best uh low spender weapon so i think we're gonna put that on him and then i think zhao would want black cliff polearm if i'm not mistaken i think that's probably what our best option is here the problem with that is our crit rate goes out the wahoo if i do that so i think i would need to have a crit rate hat if i were to do that and i guess i have this which could work and that gives Zhao a little more crit rate balancing a little more and then if we up the black lip pole arm we could actually balance it out pretty well i don't know how far i can take this but we're gonna try to take it at least a tiny bit far to see what i can do and then we can finally stop using three star weapons which is gonna feel really good because three star weapons were really holding the account back and that gives us an extra 50 crit damage that is massive that is such a great amount of crit damage to get. So what does that bring us up to? Let's see. 
66, 185, not too shabby. And that brings our Sino up to 85, 186, pretty good. And now we have an upgraded Black Cliff Pole and an upgraded Deathmatch. You guys can finally stop yelling at me at the comments for not having a good Black Cliff Pole arm. And there we go. The thing is now I have a Lithic Spear level 80, not used on anybody, and I have a White Tassel level 80 that nobody's using. So those are just two wasted weapons almost, but it's just fine right for right now. I don't mind. Maybe we'll use it on somebody in the future. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I also got a couple good artifacts off screen. We got a couple good potential ones. Let's see here. Yes, we got this attack sands, which could be fairly good. We are almost maxed out on artifacts, which I'm a little worried about. But we did get this absolute banger piece, which could be one of the biggest pieces on my account if it rolls well enough. But we'll see here. It may or it may not. Two times? Brick! It rolled into flood HP twice! Oh, uh, for this account, it may still be worth upgrading, though. I think it's still worth upgrading for this account. Let's see here. Uh, that's so bad, man. It's so bad. I guess Rosaria could use it. It's better than Rosaria's current piece, I guess. Come on. Crit damage. Crit rate. It's a high roll, I guess. Oh, that's such a cope piece. I feel like I have to keep that, though, right? I'm not going to get a better piece for a while. And I guess I can put it on Rosaria for right now. I feel like that's not a bad option. All right, we are going to go into the emblem domain to hopefully get some upgrades for our characters. We're going to see what we're able to pull off here. I have way too much fragile resin that's ready to be used. We'll use like five of them maybe. Give us 300 resin. Yeah, damn, that's a lot of resin. I'm just going to go craft some condense and then we're going to absolutely abolish that domain. Oh, why? Stop, dude. All right, the final condense of the day. Do I finally redeem myself from taking like 10 different L's? No, maybe, probably not. Oh, artifacts are such pain, man. I don't know why I keep doing them. At least we got some kind of good Yunjin pieces, I guess. But like, I'm literally almost capped out. I am capped out on artifacts, actually. I have 1,500, five out of 1,500. I don't know how that's possible. Well, we got some good pieces, I think, for maybe Yunjin. I got this piece, which could be good. Come on, Kurait. Okay, I guess defense is actually kind of good for Yunjin. I don't care, though. I want crit rate, crit damage, or mainly crit rate for Favonius Lance. Crit rate, please, I beg. Uh, it's fine, I guess. Thank you, that's a max roll too, Pog. That's actually good. This is actually turning out to be an okay piece. We take that. All we need is one more crit rate roll and it's a dub. We'll get there eventually, don't worry. Just have to get rid of 300 million green artifacts. And crit rate, uh, it's fine, I guess, min roll. It, it, it works, it works. We'll take it, honestly. It's not a terrible piece. And then we got one more big piece also. We got we got this butte, but again, there's a strong chance that we miss crit rate every time, but we pray and we hope. Crit rate, okay, the worst possible thing off the bat. Not how I want to start it, but it's okay because we're going to redeem it right here. Thank you, very nice. We take that. Do me again, do me crit rate again. Be nice to me, game. Uh, that's okay. We take that. We still want crit rate more than anything, though. We need it for Favonius Lance so we can proc it more. And third roll, come on. Big roll. No, why? I don't want flat HP. Oh, five times bonus? Let's go. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We, we'll live with it. We'll live with it. It's another defense percent piece for Yunjin. Now, all we need is a defense percent Sans. I just kind of want to finish off Yunjin for right now. We could use this. It's not bad. Yeah, we'll use, we'll, we'll upgrade it. Just roll, like, great energy recharge. Uh, that's pretty bad. Um, that's okay. I mean, one max crit damage roll? Sure, I guess why not? I need energy recharge more, but crit damage is fine. Flat defense? It's good for Yunjin, I guess. Five times bonus again? Bro, I'm getting these sweet five times bonuses today. Crit damage again, uh, whatever, again, we'll keep it, it's something. And now we have three defense percent pieces on Eugen. bring her defense up to 1900, which isn't too bad. 
Her ratio is uh, pretty abysmal. I really need more crit rate rolls on those pieces, but not much I can do about that. I just gotta hope that either like a feather or something will roll better. But I think we're gonna hold off on that for right now, just cause I don't need to prioritize Yunjin too much. All right, now that we are done, grinding artifacts i want to take some of my new and improved characters out to do a little test in the spiral abyss because it's been a while since we've tried the spiral abyss and i just want to see if my characters are still capable of beating it so let's go to the spiral abyss and give it our best dang shot what do we got here quick and burn aggravate should be pretty easily i only have floor eight left and then i finally unlock the abyssal moon spiral which is going to be pretty fun because then we actually get rotated spiral this and we can get them back to back to back, which is going to be very cool. All right, so that's sort of planned out floor eight. So chamber one, hydro, cryo, and then pyro on the second half. Ruin guards. Okay, so then there's cryo, hilly trolls on the front, pyro, hilly trolls on the back. And then, okay, so cryo, so it's basically cryo first half, pyro second half. Got it. So we need to counter that. So I guess for first half, we'll go Zhao, Zhongling, Candice, Toma. Is that a good combination? I know we definitely have Zhao first half, and then we definitely have Cyano second half, I think. So we have a counter to each side on each half. Oh, the Pyro Reg is fine. Actually, we are going to need Candice now that I'm thinking about it. Candice for Pyro Reg is fine. For uh, Cryo Reg is fine, we'll have Toma and we'll have Zhongling. And then I guess we have Zhongli, Yunjin as the last two. Uh, Where do we put Zhongli? I guess we'll put him top half, but we have Toma on top half. No, I think we still put him top half. We do Zhongli top half, and then we do... Yunjin bottom half and I think that's gonna be our team. Let's run it. See if we can finally beat floor eight It's been a long time coming. Let's do our best. Let's go Zhao. It's your time, buddy Toma we got that double shield because we got Toma and Zhongli. We're gonna be doing big damage get the Zhao burst up Bang bang bang. He's almost dead. Let's go. We got one more. Come on get him Zhao Let's go and we're gonna do Zhongli finish him off with a Zhongli burst Let's go one side defeated, one side to go. We did that pretty fast. And, we, you know, we actually have to go fast here because we are on a uh, pretty fast timer. I believe it's seven minutes to get three stars. So we got to do our best here. And then we're going to get Yunjin, Candice. And we're going to get big Sino Burst here because we have Yunjin and Candice up. 8Ks, 8Ks. Let's go, 10Ks. 11Ks. Damn, Sino. Okay. Sino, move faster. And dead. Let's go. That was so fast. I did not expect us to beat it that quickly. Maybe in the next episode, we're going to have to try to do the full Spiral Abyss. Character normal attack speed plus 25. Oh, that is really good for Sino. All right, let's go. Seven opponents shouldn't be too bad. I said we don't have the burst out this time, which is going to make it a little more difficult. We should be okay, though. I forgot when I have no abilities up, all I can do is normal attack. We got Toma burst, and now we do Zhao burst, and we just obliterate him. We're doing Pyro Infusion. Let's go. One's dead. And then we got these guys over here. Kill them real quick. Bang, bang. They're dead. And we got one guy left here. Should be pretty simple. Just finish him off with Goba and Jungling Burst. And there he goes. Gone and dusted. One more side to go. This side's about to go absolutely crazy with that normal attack buff. First Sino. Let's see. And we can do even more if we get the Yoon Jin Burst up too. And the Candice Burst potentially. But Candice Burst is really slow. Okay, we do this. We do this. We do this. Oh, shoot. We don't even have the Sino Burst up. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't even have Sino Burst up. I'm an idiot. Candice, you get energy back so slowly. I just want to do this big burst, please. Oh gosh, not that. Stop Beyblading on me. Leave me alone. Do this. Okay, now we have all the things up. Yunjin, Candice, Sino. There we go. Look how fast he's moving. Let's go. Oh shoot, I missed the eye timing. Yeah, whatever. Bro, he's moving so fast. Look at him go. Look at him go. Go, Sino. Oh, we missed the timing. That's fine. Sino burst again, and we'll just finish off these last two, and then we should be good to go. And bang, 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 bang. Dead. Let's go. On to the final chamber of floor eight. Let's see. Character sprinting stamina cost minus 30%. That seems really nasty. Basically just an infinite sprint, except not really. All right, let's try our best here. This is actually going to be difficult. Except we do have bare time to complete it. We only have to complete within three minutes. I think we're chilling. I think they might overestimate how much time it takes to defeat this dumb cryo red is fine. All right, there we go. We're going to uh, Zhongli burst on it. And we're going to do Zhao burst and just... I, we'll probably just kill this thing in one phase. We're just that good. Except I should have done Toma burst first, then we get the pyro infusions, but whatever. And we're chilling. We're, we're literally fine. We're literally fine. I'm not even stressing. Oh, I mean, look at that. Remaining challenge time longer than 180 seconds, bro. I'm about to beat this in like two minutes. Okay, let's do this. And we can just infuse our normal attacks with Hydro and just obliterate this Karelia. And there we go. Oh, shoot. I don't have Sino burst up. Oh, it's done. Well, we actually be, might be okay with the Candice infusion. Okay, we don't have it anymore. 
I really should have saved Sino Burst, but eh, we're fine. Oh, it's crazy that's at its eye. Um, okay, I can manage with that. Stay on the damn ground. Look over here, idiot. Oh my gosh. Can you stop sweeping? There, no, okay, or not. Bro, I can't do anything. Will you just stay in there? There we go, now it's stuck. There we go. And it's down, let's go. And do we have Sino Burst? There we go. Now this thing's dead, now it's done. Let's go. Bang and done. Let's go. We finally did it. We beat the first eight chambers of the spiral abyss finally. And now we can <laughs> unlock, if we go to the spiral abyss, the final floors. This has been such a long time, man. Oh my goodness. We can finally do floors 9 to 12. Thank the heavens, man. Oh, that's going to be difficult, though. We're definitely going to do that, though. We also going to claim our rewards for floor 8. We get 300 primos, 60,000 mora. And I think, now that we're done with the Spiral Abyss, I think that is also going to be the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode and you want to see more in the future, please consider leaving a like down below or subscribing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.